the um, uh, finance ministers uh, gathering in Washington uh, for the annual meetings will be discussing uh, the global outlook as they do uh, every six months. And yet these annual meetings will be different in several respects. But well, first of all, this will be the first uh, time that Christine Lagarde will be um, having these meetings uh, as uh, the newly elected managing director of the IMF at really a critical time. And of course, uh, the most important uh, aspect of this meeting is that they will unfold against uh, increasing uncertainty in Europe and unraveling of the European uh, uh, crisis that everybody, you know, will try to uh, avoid. And yet, what we have uh, been uh, observing so far is that uh, every day comes with a missed opportunity. Uh, European leaders seem really to unable to find that common, uh, 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 the common purpose. One of the critical uh, aspects of this crisis is that uh, euro area countries uh, do share uh, the same currency and yet everything else is uh, decided by their uh, nation states. Everything is decided uh, through an intergovernmental approach. And of course, this implies that the policy making is by definition reactive rather than proactive. They are always behind the curve. The IMF Managing Director, of course, has uh, a unique standing. Um, she can really uh, play a third party role. But that said, the IMF cannot uh, fill a fundamental vacuum in the political and institutional landscape of the euro area. In the political landscape, because there is no political leadership in Europe that is really able and available to take issues forward. Institutionally, because there is no European institution that is uh, uh, equipped at handling the current situation. These meetings will be unfolding uh, uh, while uh, the review that uh, the IMF Executive Board had planned for September the 15th has been postponed in the future. Of course, this uh, creates uh, further uncertainty around the prospects of a program that uh, is already not on track. Um, there is uh, a sense that uh, if uh, the uh, resources that uh, uh, have to be disbursed, uh, you know, when this uh, review is approved by the board, uh, do not reach Athens, uh, you know, by sometime in October or sometime this fall. Um, this could uh, trigger a disorderly default and clearly this is a prospect, even a prospect that should be avoided at all costs. And of course this calls for, uh, you know, the Greek authorities to um, implement uh, the measures they had committed to, even if in a more difficult scenario, in order to avert any uh, further um, contagion or spillovers uh, that have already spread to the rest of the euro area.